Well, what's up, everybody? TaxRuction7 here, back with the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the Spawner GUI mod, and what this mod does is it allows you to change what spawns from a mob spawner. You can change it to almost every single mob within Minecraft, though it does have to correspond with the certain area it's set to spawn in. So, say if you want to spend spawn like a zombie or something it does have to be in a dark unlit area so you can see I do have a spawner in my hand so I'll go ahead and set it down here and you can see it's set to spawn pigs which is already started doing but if I go ahead and right click on the spawner I can pull up this mob spawner list and I can change it to spawn whatever I want so say I want to have it spawn a uh, let's spawn some chickens or something like that so you can see now there's a chicken inside of there and eventually a chicken will spawn Let's give it a second it's spinning faster and faster and there we go it pops out a chicken so you can see it does have all of the um, mobs even the new iron golem so let's see what else we can spawn uh, let's change it to a mushroom cow I think these things look pretty cool so here we go again you can see the mushroom cow spinning faster and faster as it's about to spawn any second now it should spawn and there we go we have our mushroom cow so as I said, it does have to correspond to the certain area that the mobs are allowed to spawn in. So you wouldn't be able to spawn like an ender dragon here. You'd have to put a mob spawner in the uh, end zone and spawn one there. Um, so on and so forth. Like a slime, you have to be within six, 16 blocks of the bedrock to spawn one of those. So that also would not spawn here. So that is the spawner GUI mod. Very simple yet efficient mod. So I now need to clean up my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I will show you how to install this mod. Alright, so what you're going to need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program, such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. All these archiving programs do work the exact same way, so you can do whatever you prefer. I'll be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then you're going to need to download ModLoader and the Spawner's UI mod itself. So to download ModLoader and the Spawner's UI mod, I'll go ahead and give the link to this page in the description. Both downloads will be on this page. So if we go ahead and scroll down until we see mod loader 1.2.4, we can either download from AdFly or direct whatever you prefer to do. Keep in mind downloading from AdFly will help support the mod creator. After you download mod loader, go ahead and scroll down a little bit more until you see spawners UI 1.2.4. And again, you can either download from AdFly or direct whatever you prefer to do. So that is how to download the mods. Now when you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start then type in percent app data percent as you see here down in the bottom left hand corner then go ahead and open up your roaming open your dot minecraft open your bin left click your minecraft jar then right click it and do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using I'm using WinRAR so I'm gonna go ahead and open it with WinRAR now your bin you're not gonna need open anymore so you can go ahead and just close this so once you have your minecraft jar open go ahead and open up mod loader Highlight all of these class files and drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close mod loader. Now open up the spawner GUI mod and again highlight all these files and drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close the spawner GUI mod. Now in your Minecraft jar you should see a folder called metainf. If you do not have this folder in your Minecraft jar it's alright you can go ahead and just skip this step but if you do have it what you want to do is delete it so go ahead and left click it then right click it select delete files then hit yes and that will delete meta inf you want to make sure you're always deleting meta inf when you're installing a mod to minecraft if you don't it'll make minecraft crash so after you delete meta inf go ahead and close your minecraft jar and that is it you're done installing the mod so hope this video helps you guys out thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time